Hey everyone, Mike Burke here with InsideRealEstatePhotography.com and in this video we're going to be reviewing and taking a look into the real estate media software Spiro. Recently, I've been doing a lot of research on real estate media platforms to see which one I wanted to move my business to. Before, I was doing it sort of piecemeal with multiple different softwares or websites or whatever you want to call it to manage my business. And I'm looking for an all-in-one solution here. And there are multiple platforms out there dedicated to real estate media. And I landed on Spiro as my choice. And in this video, I want to tell you why I landed on Spiro, talk a little bit about what it does and show you a little bit of a demonstration. As I said, there are multiple platforms out there and a lot of them have their merits. A lot of this will come down to preference. You might prefer one over the other, but I landed on Spiro because I thought it was the best overall for what it offers. It has a rich set of features. I like the price. I like the pricing model, et cetera. I'll get into that in this video. I just want to say though, I didn't just gloss over this i did a deep dive did a lot of research set up accounts on the biggest name services out there went so far as to setting up order pages the whole nine yards really tested the systems out to see which one i liked best because i'm going to be living with this day to day for my running my business so i wanted to be sure i was making the right choice so i did quite a bit of research on this and spiro was my choice so without further ado let's jump in and take a look at this and see what Spiro does. But before we get into that, I just wanna quickly state that this video is not sponsored by Spiro. I'm not being paid by them. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. Before we continue on with this video, I just wanna share a quick word about our sponsor, PixelMob. Are you looking for a professional real estate photo editor to help lighten your workload? Are you having a hard time finding a good and reliable editor or don't even know where to look for one? Or maybe you just personally struggle with editing and can't seem to achieve the professional end result that you've been looking for? If any of this sounds like you, you should definitely check out PixelMob. PixelMob helps take the guesswork out of finding a reputable editor and connects you with the right people to do the job. PixelMob is an awesome website that links you up with available editors capable of doing just about any sort of real estate photo editing you can imagine, including HDR blending, flambient, virtual staging, object removal, etc. The best part of all is that PixelMob vets all the editors prior to allowing them onto their platform to ensure that they can indeed deliver on what they say they can. I also really like that there's a peer review system where photographers can rate the editors from one to five stars, giving you further tools and helping you choose the best editor to work with for your particular job. The editor also does not get paid until you are satisfied with your order. If you've ever been in the search for an editor and tried a few out, then you know full well there's been a, such a sore need for something like PixelMob in our industry, and I really think a lot of us real estate photographers can benefit from this service. It's completely free to sign up, and if you use my link, pixelmob.com IREP, you will receive $5 in credit towards your first order, so there's no reason to at least not give it a try. You'll also find that link down in the description of this video. All right guys, so here's Spiro's website. It is spiro.media. I will of course put a link down in the description for this. If you are interested in signing up for Spiro, if you use my link, I would appreciate it. I'll earn some referral credits. Again, this has nothing to do with this YouTube video. They didn't give me a referral link because I'm making this for them. Anyone can have a referral link. So if you sign up, you could have your own referral link. And if you sign other people up using your referral link, you'll earn credits as well. It's just a cool thing. So I appreciate it if you use my link. All right, one thing I will point out is that they have this awesome knowledge base. So, you know, when you're setting up your account, this is really helpful. It's really robust and tells you how to do everything. It's pretty quick to set up an account. It's absolutely free too, by the way, that's an important thing. You don't have to pay to set up an account. You can set up a whole entire system with Spiro before even paying a single dime. So it's awesome. You can try the whole thing out. You only pay when you set up a listing and I'll get into that in a minute and it costs $5. Another cool thing about Spiro is that it's pay as you go. So you only pay for what you use. So every listing you create is $5, that's it. There's no other fees or anything like that. There's no subscription, there's no monthly subscription. Again, that's another reason why I pick Spiro or why one of the reasons why I like it more than some of the other platforms because some of them are monthly subscriptions. So I like the pay as you go model. You only pay for what you use. I like that model. So again, this is completely free to set up. So there's no risk in setting up an account and trying it out. Yeah, so this is the knowledge base. It really has a lot of information in here. It should answer any questions you have. But if you have any other questions, there's like a text function here. You can email them. I will say Spiro's customer service has been top notch, really impressed with them. Anytime I've reached out with them, they've been extremely responsive, extremely quick to respond. Todd, the owner, has done a Zoom with me. They'll Zoom with you too if you have to troubleshoot anything or figure out anything. 
uh, you know, extremely helpful. Two thumbs up big time for their customer service, I would say, so far. All right, so I'm just gonna log in here to my account. And here you'll see a dashboard, sort of an overview of like today, you know, it's raining today, I don't have a lot going on. I do have one job later this afternoon. So you can see that here, I have three jobs confirmed for tomorrow. So, you know, all this stuff you can see in here. You can see someone, you know, needs to pay for one job, you know. So it's just cool dashboard, just overview of what you have going on. Orders, so you can see all the orders that your clients have submitted. And, you know, these are jobs that have either been, you know, delivered or, you know, some of these haven't been shot yet. Like these are confirmed jobs, etc. So here's where all your orders are. And if you need to change anything about an order, like price or adjust a price or reschedule, or schedule an order, you know, uh, you can do that all under, you know, the orders. This will tell you all the order details, such as, you know, the appointment times, address, you know, square footage, you know, what they ordered and everything like that, the price and all that stuff is in here. I'm not gonna get super in depth here. Obviously, like I said, the knowledge base will answer any questions. So if you have questions on any of this, it's all in the knowledge base with videos, demonstrations by Todd, the owner. So, you know, he's gonna explain it better than I will. I just want to kind of give you a feel for what this does. So you can see if it's something you're interested in and you know, you can compare it to other platforms if you've looked into those. So I'm just trying to give you an overview here. So the next tab is listings here and under listings, you don't pay anything when an order is created by either you or a client. You only pay when the order is shot and completed and a listing is created. Every time a listing is created, you pay the $5. So that's how it works. You can create a listing manually by hitting the create listing button here. Or when you use the mobile site, when you're out on the, in the field and you complete your job, a listing is automatically created and your account is charged $5. I'll go over that in a minute. So yeah, here's all these listings in here, you know, that I shot recently. And you can see here, you know, whether it's been paid or not, which is a helpful feature. Again, most of the time, you an order is created and you shoot it and complete it, and then a listing is, is created automatically. But say you picked up a shoot the day of, you're out and a client calls you, hey, can you run over here and shoot this? And you, you can and you do it and you need to just create a listing after the fact and deliver it to them, you can hit this button here. And you can see delivery page creation. And when you, like I said, when you create a listing, it costs the $5. So here's that, and you could just hit continue. So that is how you are charged. Let me show you a little bit about what you get with your listing. So you get free property website, and I'll show you what that looks like. So when you click on property website editor, this is how you deliver photos to your client and you'll see like you will upload your photos to the gallery here so you would just hit upload and you know this will come up and you can choose your files and upload to this gallery so here you have all the photos here for this listing these are all the default sections by the way of it these are all sections parts of the property website if you hit new section here say you did floor plans video 3d tours this is all in here and you can just add one of those sections, say, you know, oh, we have a video. And now the video section is here. You know, it's in a weird spot. I would like it up here next to the gallery. So you can just, you can just grab this tab here, sorry, and then drag it up. You can move these all around and rearrange them however you want. And then of course, you know, you can just, you know, add your videos here. It'll take a YouTube link or, you know, Vimeo link or whatever, you can just put that in here. And uh, this doesn't have one, so we can just delete this section. So yeah, these are all the sections. And then landing here, it'll have this uh, scrolling thing here where you know it scrolls through, I have three photos scrolling. You can edit that here by going in here. You can see the check mark that's here. You can just pick three nice photos. I usually pick like, you know, front photos uh, or a nice interior photo too, but like you can choose those in here. You can also put property info in, you know, such as bedrooms, price and all that stuff. I don't do that normally. I know the agent can actually log into their account and edit this as well. You know, if they want to use the property website, they can do that and come in here and edit this. But just so you can see what the property website looks like, if we hit view here, it'll load the property website can see it's scrolling through this land. This is the landing page that we created with the three photos that I chose. So it will scroll through those photos, which is a nice touch, has the address here and everything. Agent information, 
And then of course the gallery, if you click on these, you know, you can scroll through the photos, you know, so that's there. And of course, like I said, any other media, like I said, you can rearrange these sections so I can, you can move this section down or up or, or like I was showing you. And you know, it's cool Google Maps integration here. You can click on these things and you can see, you know, oh, what, what, here's the home obviously. And then it's, you know, what's nearby, are there gas stations nearby? It'll load gas stations, parks, you know, all these things you can see nearby. Again, here's the contact information, agent contact information. The Spiro property website is nice. It's pretty straightforward, no frills, but the design is clean. It looks good, I, I think to me, better than a lot of the other ones out there. I would like some different templates, maybe, you know, more customization here. And I think Spiro is working on it. That's another thing I want to say about Spiro. They're constantly updating and improving the system. They're fairly new. I think they've only really had this out to the public for the past two years almost, maybe not even. So, you know, they are super quick to update things. They're super receptive to feedback. So, you know, if you guys have any input for them, they are receptive to it. And uh, I am excited to see what they're coming up. They're constantly, since I started using it maybe a few months ago, the improvements have been numerous. Like they're constantly working on this. So, you know, in a year from now, I think the system is gonna even be better, like constantly improving it, releasing new updates. So that's the property website that your agents will get and it's completely included with the price free. So, you know, that's a nice touch. Property websites are great for agents to showcase all the media in one place, say you had video, photos, 3D tour, or even just the photos or whatever. It just has the listing information in there, description. So it's just great. You can share it with potential buyers or share it with other agents who can share it with their buyers or whatever. And, you know, they can just click that link and see all the media in one place, get all the information about the property. So it's, you know, just a handy sort of brochure almost <laughs> about the property, highlighting all the features and showing all the media. Another really cool thing that agents get access to is this here called the marketing content. And if I click on that, they can log in here to their account and make these flyers. These are all templates for flyers, postcards, social media tiles like Square, perfect for Instagram, social media reel. So like portrait orientation, great for stories, all that on social media. So they can come in here and click on one of these and it will automatically populate with some things, but you can fully customize all this stuff has a QR code on it, you know, so really cool. You can change these photos, change the information, change what it says, change the look of this, the whole nine yards, and you can save it, export it, you know, so it's a really cool feature. Once I got my Spiro system up and running, I emailed all my clients just to educate them on all this. I recorded a video where I just kind of screen recorded this, kind of like I am here with you right now, just showing them how this all works, what's available to them, all this marketing content, such as the property websites, and these flyers and postcards and all this stuff that they can use to market their property. I just wanna be sure that they're aware of this. I also talk to them about it while I'm at shoots. You know, I'm just trying to make them aware of this because when you send them the photos and stuff, they might just be downloading them and not really looking into these features, not really logging into their account and whatever. So it's important just to educate them on this and let them know what's available to them. So that is the marketing content, which is really cool. Next on the list is Task Manager. This isn't something I've really used yet, so I'm not really gonna talk about that. Of course, clients, you know, these are all the companies here, like agencies, you know, that you put in here. And then, of course, there, then there's agents, and you can attach the agent to an agency. So that's, you know, all that stuff is in here. And then, of course, invoices. If you have a team of photographers, that's an also good thing about Spiro. Like you can manage a whole team of photographers in here, scheduling shoots for them and everything like that. So if you have multiple photographers working for your company, this is a great platform to use for that because it's totally set up for that. And of course there's client invoices in here as well. This map scheduler is pretty cool. Like you go in here, you can see like, you know, tomorrow I have these shoots. And then if you look on, it'll show you on the map where they all are, you can hit view day and it will show you, you know, one, two, three of my three stops tomorrow as of right now that I have, there's two shoots that I have. So it's just a cool visual way. And if you have multiple photographers in here, you know, they'll all be in here and you can kind of see where everyone's going on any given day, et cetera. So that's a cool feature. Next is on-site tracking. I don't really use this either, but I guess if, you know, your photographers were out in the field, you can kind of see what, what they're doing. 
you know, if they checked into their shoots or, you know, whatever. Now shopping cart, this is an important one. So I'll go to order pages. You can create custom order pages here. I'll show you that in a second. You can put all your services in here. So you gotta create services for each individual thing that you offer, you know, such as video, photo, you know, floor plans, etc. twilight, and you can make these little icons here. You need to do that sort of first, and then you can create order pages and plug these into it. Questions, I don't use any of those. Coupons, you can re create coupons. I have this one for, you know, I'm trying to source new clients off of Instagram and stuff. I have my virtual assistant working on some of that, so I offer a 25% off, you know, for their first shoot, you know, as an incentive to try me out. So I've created a coupon for that and they can just put this code in when they order off the order page, welcome 25 and they'll get 25% off their first order. It will only work once, which is cool. Like you can set that up here, uh, you know, all in here, you can just put all the information in here. And here you can see allowed uses only once per agent. So they can only use it once. They can't just come in and, you know, <laughs> use it a bunch of times. Uh, so that's how you set that up. That's a cool feature. Referral program, this is also cool. I also educated my agents on this in the email I sent where if, when they log into their account, they'll see a referral code. If they share it with other agents to try me out as a photographer, they'll earn $50 and the, and the person, you know, they referred will also get $50 off their first order. So, you know, kind of cool. They'll both get credit of $50 to their account for referring me. So a good incentive for your clients to refer you to other agents. All right, so let's just talk about order pages real quick. So my main order page is this real estate media services one. And if I click on view, it'll bring it up. And here the agent will be able to log in or create an account, you know, by using their phone number or whatever, or email. Uh, you can also just click see pricing and you can just see what it looks like. So what's cool about this and one of the main reasons why I wanted a platform like this is because it helps you upsell your services. This is a huge part of this whole thing. And another reason why I emailed all my clients telling them about this, because I want them to use the online ordering system. I actually told them that if they use the online ordering system, those appointments will get priority over you know, text and calls and stuff. I'm just trying to incentivize them to use the online ordering system instead of calling me or texting me. That way they can just go on and you know schedule a shoot with me through this portal. And the re reason why I'm trying to funnel them into this portal is because it helps upsell services. I wanna up my average order values. I want them ordering extra services such as drone, floor plans, etc. So this system helps you upsell without you having to do anything. They just have to order on the system and it will help upsell. I'll show you how that works. And this will integrate with your website and stuff like that. So. I, you can white label this so it says portal at burkemultimedia.com so that's my website you know this is my website here and you'll see the book now client login and i have book now everywhere like our services book now book now book now and if they click on any of these book now you know uh buttons it'll bring them to my order page now if i log in i created an agent account as myself so if i log in just so you can see what it looks like from a client perspective. Here now I'm in my account, which is cool. Like I was talking about the referral program. So again, this is me as an agent. So I put myself in as an agent. I recommend you do the same. That way you can test your system out and see what it looks like as an agent. You know, like I said, here's a referral program. Here's my, you know, referral code. Like I was talking about, if your agent wants to send that code to another agent, hey, try my photographer out. We'll both get 50 bucks. That's where that is. Also listings, which is really cool. And another thing I was talking to my agents about because they can log in here, hit this listings button and see all their previous orders they've done with you. If they need to download the photos again or whatever, they have access to all their previous shoots in here. Something I wasn't able to offer before, so that's really cool. Sometimes I get texts, hey, can you send me this? I gotta look through Dropbox, find the folder, send them a link. But now they can log into their account and see all their previous listings they had. Also, they can see you know invoices in here, previous and paid invoices. Uh, if they click on that, you know uh, again this isn't really real because this is my account. So here on the order page, you know again how I'm trying to upsell and incentivize ordering more is that, you know I created these packages for one thing I never had these before, and you know it's motivating for them because they get a discounted price for ordering a bundle package of multiple services. It's just incentivizing ordering more. That's the whole point of this. You know, if they want to order just individually, of course there's photography, just photos, you know, just exterior only, you know, whatever, you know, drone only. I do to 
photo and video drone bundle. So if they order both together, it's 200 bucks. So, you know, you can come on here and check this out if you want. Um, you know, see how I set it up. If you need some uh, suggestions or, you know, want to see an example, you know, you can come to my site and check this out if you want. So let me just quickly show you what the ordering process looks like because it's cool. And, you know, this is like exciting stuff. This is kind of like one of my favorite parts about the system. So if you hit select here, say I want to order this platinum package. So first you put in the address here, one, two, three, whatever. Okay, William Street, New York. I don't know where that is, but. <laughs> uh, Use this, yes, uh, that title will be the address. Square footage, so my pricing is determined by square footage, so this is important. You could always check up on this to make sure they put in the accurate square footage by looking up the property or whatever. So I'm just gonna say this property is 2,500 square feet. And once you put the square footage in, now you'll get a price here. You can see how much it costs. And vacant, is the property vacant? We'll say, yes, it's vacant. Does the basement need to be shot? No, there's no basement. Does the garage need to be shot? Most of the time, no, the people don't want the garage. But these are cool little features here because then it gives you the information about what they want done. So it's not like you go to the shoot, you know, it's happened to me before. I wanted a shot of the inside of the garage. Well, like normally I don't do that because it's usually a mess and most 99% of the time people don't want the inside of the garage shot. But at least now, they can put that in there if they do want a shot so you know ahead of time, all right, I do need to get a shot of the garage. So it's just helpful information. All right, now we'll hit the next button. So appointment details. So say, you know, like I said, say it was vacant and there's a lock box. You can, the agent can come in here and put the code in. By the way, I'm trying to get my agents to do this, but when they call or text me to make an appointment and they don't use the system to order, which I'm working on getting them all to do, like I said, but you know, still people will just text or call. You can just come in and log in as the client and create the order for them going, you know, ordering through this process. That's what I do a lot of the times. If they just text me an appointment, I'll just put the information in myself, logged in as them. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And you know, it'll create the order for them. So you just put the lockbox code in here. If there was a lockbox comment in here, like, you know, lockbox is on side door. So here, appointment details, you have a couple preferences. I have it set up so that they can give me two possible times and days that they want the house shot on, and then I can get back to them with a the time. You can have them pick a specific time. There's different options here. So, you know, you can play with that in your settings, whatever you prefer. This is what kind of what I prefer at the moment. So, you know, they could pick a day, say they want, okay, Thursday, I want this done. And, you know, I want it done it needs to be done before 12 o'clock. So it needs to be done in the morning. And if that doesn't work, I can also do Friday afternoon. So we'll put Friday and arrive after, you know, 1 p.m. So it needs to be after 1 p.m. It needs to be in the afternoon. So those are my two preferences. You know, I'll just hit next. Here's upselling here again, right in front of their face, additional services. Oh, I can get a Zillow 3D tour. Yeah, I do want that actually, you know, I can get twilight drone photography, uh, you know, any of these things they could add on here and see what you're offering. So it's just right in front of their face. And I've had clients be like, oh wow, I didn't even know you did this or that or this, you know, like, and they, cause they just don't know, or they don't, you know, <laughs> they just don't talk to you about it or whatever. But here they can see everything you're offering them. It's right in front of their face and they can now know in their head, like, oh wow, I can get all these things, you know, it gets those, juice is flowing and you know it might lead to future upsells so if not an immediate upsell all right so yeah i'm going to add a Zillow 3d tour all right so now i'm at 925 for my order and i could hit next again here's just agent information i want text messages about my order so another cool thing about spiro is that it'll update your clients via text message about their order like you know your order is confirmed for this day and time it will take this amount of time to complete it you know, that sort of thing. Also, when you deliver the photos to them, they'll get a text saying your media is complete. You know, it's ready for you to download. You know, just a really cool system in that regard. And then they would just hit next. And here's another pop-up special offer. You know, video is part of their order. So do they want to do an on-camera agent, on-camera intro and outro for 50 bucks add-on? You know, they can add that. Oh yeah, I do want to be on the video, just doing a quick intro. So I'm gonna add that too. So it's upselling the whole process while they're ordering. So this is why it's cool. You can put their coupon code in here, say, you know, 
Like I said, I had that one welcome 25. Say this is their first time ordering with me. They found me on Instagram or whatever. They can apply that. You know, this is, I'm just showing you how this works. So they can apply that. So here, oh look, now it's 731.25. They got 25% off. So that's cool. They have to agree to terms and conditions, which is also cool. I put all my terms in here, you know, about copyright and explains all the things about, you know, who owns the photos, we own our photos, you know, etc. explains all that in here. Sad thing is they'll probably never read this, I'll just click on it, but it's here. So at least they're agreeing to it. And if anything happens with your photos, you can show them these terms that they agreed to and it's all here, they clicked on it. So, you know, it helps save your butt. <laughs> so once they do all that, they can just submit the order. And here's the live tracker, like I was talking about, they can open that right here, but they also get a text message of this. So this exact thing they'll get on their phone as a text message. Like I said, it shows the, you know, address, you know, the appointment time, since they got a lot of services, it's gonna take 280 minutes. Here's a getting ready button, which will link to this prepare sheet that I have, which I'm just working on updating actually. And they could download a PDF of this and share it with their clients. You know, it explains, you know, how to get the house ready for the photo shoot, recommended ways that I recommend for cleaning up the house putting clutter away, et cetera, et cetera. It gives a room by room description, kind of what to do for each room. And my clients have been utilizing this now that it's being texted to their phone. I've had this before, but they don't really use it. But now that it's accessible, they send the link to their clients, the homeowners. Hey, you know, take a look at this before the photo shoot, get it ready. So it just helps you again in your business because homes are ready when you show up to shoot them. You know, it's a huge perk. So that's the appointment tracker. I'm just gonna close that. That's really the online ordering system, the shopping cart and all that. So, you know, this is really cool stuff here. Like I was saying, um, if I go back to the admin portal now, you'll see here the order I just created, my name, new order. And if I go to manage, here's where I can schedule it. So if I click on schedule, I can schedule this for a time. And again, it would confirm with the agent, you know, either you can have them confirm it by sending them an email or text, or you can just save it as confirmed depending on what you wanna do. Now I'm just gonna go over really quick delivering photos. So once your listing is ready here, if I go to property website editor here, again, you know, this is all done, all the media is uploaded, it's ready to be delivered to your client. Then you would just hit deliver. This is what the media delivery email looks like once you send it. Obviously, like I said, they'll get a text message as well to their phone saying this is ready and, you know, they'll have, you know, access to it on their phone. You know, dear client, Judy, you know, your, your thing is ready. This is the template that Spiro makes. You can customize these templates too. Also really cool. You know, a lot of this stuff is fully customizable. I added here to the delivery email, you know, need help with downloading photos or the online system. Here's our video guide. This is the video I was just talking about that I created for my clients. It shows them how to download their photos because as we all know, a lot of the agents, they just get frustrated. They don't, some of them are not technologically inclined. <laughs> you know, they have issues with downloading stuff. I'm so glad I created this video now because now I can just say, Here's the link to the video, just watch this. You know, the first thing I do on here in the video, within the first three minutes, they'll know how to download photos. So, you know, I'm just like, to watch this video, it'll literally answer all your questions within three minutes about how to download photos. So, you know, it just saves me a lot of frustration and time because a lot of times they have questions and if they're new to the system too, this is a new system for a lot of my clients, this just answers all the questions. So again, I included that link, I also, included a Google review link. Hopefully, you know, they'll click on that and leave me a review on Google for my business. Anyway, so that's what the delivery email looks like. So here, if they click on this, it'll bring them to their property website so they can view that and, you know, see their property website. And also, of course, they click on view and download their media. So I have it set, my clients have to pay before download. That's also something you can set in Spiro go in the settings if you want them to pay before download, which is my preference. You can have them pay when they order, they, when they make an appointment. So you can even have them pay sooner if you want. <laughs> I have them pay before download. I like them to be able to see what I shot, which they can view a preview. Um, let me see what happens here. So when I click on it, it goes right to the download page because they already paid. So they can see, this is what they'll get. After they pay, it'll unlock this page here where they can just hit download and you know, there's different sizes here and they can download all their photos. So this is an order that hasn't been paid yet. I just send it to myself. And if I go to view download, see it's re redirecting them now to a payment portal. 
So this is what they will see when they click on it, when I send it to them, if they haven't paid. And most of my clients just have to pay before, or if they did pay me by check or something, then I'll unlock this for them. So they'll just get it already unlocked. But most clients will get this. So you can see, they can check out the images. So it has this watermark over it. So perfect, love it. So they can't just rip off your photos without paying. So it will have this thing here where they have to just click here and pay you know, what they owe, 150 bucks. This was a small little condo I shot. So once they pay, it will unlock this page here like I showed you before where they can access their photos. So, you know, it's great. It has the pay before download. That's another absolute must for me that the system has to do. So, you know, I'm glad that Spiro offers that. So a couple other things real quick. You got metrics and report. Report, I don't really use this so much, but I guess it'll give you some metrics. I have to, I have to look into this more. You know, team, this is your team. So you have admins, photographers. You know, if you have photographers working for you, you could put them all in here. I'm the only photographer. You know, I'm the only admin. So, uh, you know, so that's where you can add that. You can even have your editors in here. Settings, you know, <clears throat> this is where you can go through and, you know, set up stuff about your company and, you know, all this, you know, where you want to manipulate templates like I did, like with my email templates, that's all under settings. There's a bunch of stuff under here. I'm not gonna get too much into this. You know, this is something you can look into if you're interested in setting up an account and a lot of stuff here in the knowledge base about this. And you know, that's really it as far as Spiro goes. I mean, that's the whole system. As I said, it's very full featured, very robust. I love the features of it. Again, I just wanna point this out, the order page. Look how clean this looks, the design of this. I love the design of this. It's modern, it's with the times. A lot of the other systems I've tried didn't have a good looking system. Like I said, a lot of them look dated, like from a long time ago. This looks great. These are the interfaces that your clients are interacting with. It's super important for it to look good. You know, it has to complement my website. I spent a lot of time designing my website, making it look clean and nice. And I feel like this order page, once they click on that book now button, it has to sort of, you know, match the vibe a little bit and complement it. I mean, it's not exactly the same, obviously, but I feel like, you know, this design is sleek, it's clean, it's modern, it complements my website well, it looks good. I feel like Spiro has it all, the system is great, the features are great, the look is great. So, you know, it has the full package here of everything I was looking for in a system. So that's why I chose Spiro. One last thing I wanna show you real quick is the photographer portal that you'll see on your phone when you're out in the field. This is an awesome feature. I don't know that any of the other systems offer this. I'm not aware of it. So if you are aware of that, please let me know in, down in the comments of any other systems that offer this because I'm not sure that any of them do. So really quick, I'm gonna show you this on my phone. This is completely mobile friendly, by the way, this photographer portal is meant to be looked at on your phone. Hopefully, maybe one day, Spiro, that you'll make a dedicated app for this because that would be awesome. If you just had an app on your phone, you could just click on. So I don't know, that's one idea that I have for you <laughs> that hopefully maybe one day in the future, maybe that's something we could all have, that'd be awesome. But anyway, when you log in as a photographer, you see your schedule for today. Like I said, I have one this afternoon because it's you know really rainy and stormy out today. I don't even know why I'm doing this one. We're just doing some interior photos for this one shoot today. But what's cool here is you can control, you can see what shoots you have. If you have multiple photographers, they can see what they have for the day on their schedule in this, in this portal. So if I click begin day here, it'll say allow, and my shoot's at one o'clock today. So if I hit confirm right now, it will tell my client, hey, you know, Michael Burke's gonna arrive at 1 p.m. That's his estimated arrival time. So if you were running behind or something, each appointment you gotta check into, and every time you check into an appointment, it sends the arrival time to your next appointment. So not that client, the next client. So, you know, it's just constantly updating all your clients about how your day is running and everything. So super cool, man, this is awesome. What a tool, you know, like, and again, my clients are loving this, by the way, since I've implemented this, they're like, this is so cool. I'm getting text messages, letting me know, like, if you're running five or 10 minutes late, I just, you know, they're just completely informed throughout the whole process of, you know, from placing an order all the way to media delivery and all the steps in between, they're being informed every step of the way. So it's just super, super cool. You know, like I said, here's the check-in button. You would just check into your shoot. Once you, once you begin your day, you'll be able to hit check-in, but then, you know, obviously you can hit the call button here if you need to call the agent and let them know something. You could put notes in here that will be sent back to 
the portal here, like if you had a photographer working for you, they can say, hey, house wasn't ready. I was only able to shoot a certain amount of rooms or whatever, and then, you know, whatever. And then you would mark it as complete. And once you mark it as complete, it will ask you, you know, a few questions like, how fast was the shoot done? Was it green, yellow, or red? Green being no problems whatsoever. Yellow being I had to move some stuff or red being it was a disaster. <laughs> and you know, a few questions like that it'll ask you. These are helpful things to know like back at the office if you have someone working in an office and they're like sending people out to shoot shoots, just information about the shoots, how it went, you know, do you have to talk to the agent about preparing their homes? Is this constantly being a problem? You know, that sort of thing. It's just good information. So that's basically the photographer portal. I just wanted to show you that because this is one of the coolest features I think about Spiro that I don't think any of the others offer that I know of. So again, if I'm wrong about that, please correct me. All right guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I really appreciate your support. Also down in the description below, you'll find a link to Spiro as I mentioned. You know, I'll get some referral credits if you use my link to sign up, so I appreciate that. Also down there is a link to our sponsor, Pixel Mob. If you're looking for a photo editor, they're a great resource, check them out. Also down there, there are links to things that I've created such as editing practice packs, sky replacement pack, a lot of great resources down there, so check that out. Thanks again so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you again soon in the next one.